Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, our group will present about pest and disease control of animal plants seasonal crop field report. With our group consists of me, myself, with student number, I'm uh, Muhammad Hanak Baru, with student number 210, and then Muhammad Yusuf Habri Salam, with student number 215, and then Dian Argana Ardana Yoga Pamungkas, with student number 217, and then Abdul Mirzam Shanti, with student number 229. And lastly, Isna Yuni Ispierin, is the number 242. Okay, next. Okay, the first one is Fusarium milk disease. When we visited, when we visited the field, chili plants were in vegetative phase. Uh, at that time, when the disease we encountered was Fusarium wilt. The following is a control program for Fusarium uh, disease, namely uh, trichoderma treatment. Trichoderma treatment is a biological agent in the form of good fungi that can fight the development of pathogenic fungi. How to use it is to mix it with the manure as a basic fertilizer, or it can also be poured in, into each plant hole. Uh, the second one is uprooting the symptomatic plants. If you see signs of wilting plants due to Fusarium wilt, then the plant should be immediately removed and then burned. In necessary, if necessary, the soil from the infected plants can also be removed or can be sprayed with contact on sites with the active ingredients of chloratonil, chloratolonil, uh, or copper hydroxide. This is done to prevent faster transmission to healthy plants. Next. Three, proper use of fertilizer. Reducing the use of high-end fertilizers such as uh, urea. Uh, excessive use of uh, urea will cause succulent plants to be susceptible to this. Uh, use, use of plastic mulch in the rainy season. And to keep soil moisture from being too moist, which can increase the level of uh, development and spread of Fusarium oxyporum. Uh, the fifth one is making good drainage channels so that the planting area is not flooded by water. Uh, and lastly, giving agricultural lime uh, to low pH can promote the development of Fusarium mastery form. Next. And the second one is the control for grasshopper attack leaves on sugar plants. The result of the visit found that other pests were attacking the grasshoppers where are some control programs that can be done to control grasshoppers that attack the leaves of chili plants. Uh, first, cro cropping pattern. Cropping pattern can be done with alternative plants that grasshoppers do not or do not like with an intercropping or diversification system. In areas that have been attacked by grasshopper and the planting season is not too late, the planting is soaked immediately with plants that grasshopper do not like, such as soybean, green bean, cassava, sweet potato, string beans, tomato, or plant that grasshopper don't like, like canned Chinese Quebec, Quebec, and mustard green. Uh, second, mechanical. In the area or location of the former attack, where there are non ex population, ex group are collected. Truck tilek to a deep of 10 cm, a group are taken and destroyed. Then the land is immediately replanted with plants that grasshopper do not like. Nims take after two weeks since the grasshopper group arrived, monitoring was start from the possibility of nympha. Nymph are controlled by Teaching, netting, burning, or using other trap. Dispel the nymphs to a place that has been prepared in the open and then kid. Nymphs that are already in the open can also be burned if, for, if possible. But care must be taken so that the fire does not spread to other place. Nymph control plays an important role in suppressing the development of grasshopper. Next. Third vegetable pesticide. In controlling locust pests, can also use veg vegetable pesticide. The use of bot botanical pesticide 
is in, intended to be environmentally friendly, not to cause adverse effect and to make it quiet, simple, and inexpensive. Along with the ingredient use, 50 source of leaf, one handful of tobacco leaf, 20 gram detergent per shop, 20 liter of water, next how to make it, namely short shop leaf and fan and friendly ground tobacco, then add detergent or shop, stir with 20 liter of water, leave for 24 hours, filter with a soft cloth and dilute with 60 liter of water. Application by spraying, spraying is carried out on one hectare of land. Next. And then a pitch. Next. The result of the visit found that other pests that attack the aphid are fo the following several control program that can be carried out to control aphid that attack the leaf of chili plants. Uh, first, monitoring. Check your plan regu regularly of fo regularly for aphids at least twice a week when the plant is growing rapidly to catch an early infestation so you can drop or water them or prune them many species of aphid cause the grids damage in late spring when temperatures are warm but not hot 65 degree until 80 degree Fahrenheit for a pit that cause leaf curl once the number of aphid is hiked and they begin to demix the leaf, it is often difficult to control this pest as the curling leaf protect the aphid from insecticide and natural enemies. Aphid tend to be most common along the downwind edges of the garden and in close proximity to other infested plants of the same species. So make special effort to inspect this area. Next, many species of aphid prefer the under set of the leaf, so to turn the leaf over when checking for aphid on trees cut leaf from several area of the tree, also check for evidence of natural enemies such as lady beetles, leaf wing, spread fly larva, and mummified skin of parasite fleas. Also, look for aphid that have died of disease. They may appear color, colorless, swollen, flat, or indistinct. The substantial amount of money of this natural control factor can mean the flea population can be reduced rapidly without the need for treatment. Ants are often associated with aphids population, especially on trees and shrub, and are often an indication of an aphid infestation. If you see a lot of ants climbing for tree trunk, check higher up the tree for aphid or other honey production insect that may be on the branch and leaf. To protect their food source and repel many predator and parasite of aphids, managing ants is a key component of play management. Next. Biological control. Natural enemy can be very important for controlling aphids, especially in garden that are not spray with broad spectrum pesticide. E.g., organophosphate, carbamax, and phytosteroid that kill natural enemy species as well as pests. Usually, natural enemy population do not appear in significant number until aphids begin to multiply. Among the most important natural enemies are forests species of parasitic webs that lay their eggs in aphids. The skin of the parasitic fish turns into a crust and golden brown, a form that is called a mummy. Generation times for most parasites are quite short in warm weather, so once you start to look more on plants, the aphid population will likely decrease substantially within a week or two. Many predators also eat aphids. The most well-known are the adult and larvae beetles, the wing larvae, army beetle, and spread fly larva. 
natural predator work best, especially in parks and landscape situation. Next, mechanical control. Before planting, check the surrounding area for source of apis and remove the source. Some apis grow on weeds, referring to the seeds of the dead plants once they emerge. On the other hand, this flea infest, which can sometimes be an initial source of the flea natural enemies, always check the plants of apis and remove them before planting. If the apis population is located to the few curly leaves or new shoots, the best control is to trim this area and remove them. On a tree, some apis live in the dense inner canopy. During this area can make the habit that's less suitable. High levels of nitrogen barrier supports the reproduction of pigs, so never use more nitrogen than necessary. Instead, use a less salt soap from of nitrogen and apply in small portion throughout the season rather than all the ones. So, slow release formula such as organic formula is urea based, time release formula are based. Since many vegetable are susceptible to serious rapid damage as well as during this taking loss by planting seedlings under protective cover in the garden, in greenhouse, or inside, and then removing them when the seedlings are older and more tolerant of free food. Next, the protective covering will also prevent the transmission of virus carried by a bit. Silver colored defective mods has been used successfully to reduce transmission of epic for viruses in summer squares, melon, other susceptible vegetable. This much repels evading a population, reducing in their number on seedlings and small plants. Another benefit is that the yield of vegetables grown on reflective mods usually increase with the greater amount of solar energy reflected to the leaf. To put reflective mods in your garden, remove all weeds and cover the beds with mods. Bury the edge with the ground to hold it. Once the mods in it's in place, cut or burn holes three to four inch in diameter and plant several seeds or one transplant in one each hole. In addition to repelling habits, if poppers and some other insect most will promote plants growth and control weeds. Next. Whoever, when summer temperature get high, remove the moss to prevent the plant from overheating. Ready to reflective moss produce in good silver chloride plastic which is sold in rolls. You can also make your own by spray planting, construction paper, landscape cloth, or clear plastic. If you use plastic moss, you should use drip irrigation underneath. Landscape fabric and moss paper moss will allow water to drain. Another way to reduce the api problem on structural plants is to drop the insect with a strong spray of water. Moss dissolved. Apis will not be able to return to the plant and their honeydew will also disappear. Using a water spray in the morning allows the plants to dry quickly in the sun and less susceptible to fungal disease. Next. Okay, the next is chemical control. When considering whether to use insecticide for apid control, keep in mind that most substance can tolerate mild to moderate apid with little damage. Other three population often decline typically due to biological control or when hot temperatures rise. Often water spray or strong soapy water solution, even on root trees when applied with appropriate equipment will provide sufficient control. If insecticide are needed, insecticide soap and oil equipment will insecticide soap and oil are the best choice for the mass situation. As my Oils may include sodium based horticultural oil or vegetable oil such as arsenic or canola oil. This product kill primarily by suffocating the apid so such a process of the insect toilet is quicker. 
supply this ingredient with a high volume of water, usually uh, one until two percent of solution in water, and target the underside of the leaf as well as the top. So, in oil and horticultural oil, only kill acids that were present on the day they were spray. So, application may, may need to be repeat. While this ingredient can kill some of natural enemies present on the plant and export to the space. They don't leave a toxic residue and so don't kill natural enemies that migrate after being spray. Next. Okay, the next is left foot, ladybug, leptoglossus, how to control it. The next slide is, okay. The next slide, the next slide is cultural control to control left foot ladybug. Fit management is a basic ergonomic practice used to fit best, best infestation for infant. A potential tool is removal of the campaign later, flame of the forest, which serves as an alternate host for leptoglus donatus and tree fruit are absent. Also, planting prep crops around the outset may offer some suppression of leptoglus donatus. Trap crops, trap crops may be planted strategically and the orchid perimeter to chicken or the nest planting that, that will crack seeds of fruit during the time immediately for to ripening of subsumas. The trap crop plot may be monitored and set according in order to reduce insect pressure. Lab 2 gusdonatus often aggregate in plants in many states of their life cycle and they may be spot and controlled manually. Manual control may work at low population, especially close to the harvest. Varieties of Satsuma that are resistant to Lab 2 gusdonatus remain undiscovered. Next. Okay, the next is biological control. Adult forests are now to be parasites by taking such as tripoda pinnipes and tripoda plants. So parasites have been recorded in egg of leptigulus, but little research has been conducted to put parasites that on leptigulus as allow analysis. In addition, to all, volume drop application and thermopathology with the region and so fairly. Okay, the next is chemical control. Chemical control with an left foot, bugs are mainly managed using alternative insecticides with several products available in the market, like uh, El Salvador, the use in mean oil as a means of managing lepidal genetic stock optic mortality rate up to 100%. Okay, next. Okay, next pass is white plated plant hopper. Next. Okay, plant hoppers and their nymphs can be disloaded by spraying infested syrup with a stream of water from a garden hose. No insecticide is specific, specifically labeled for plant hoppers, but pesticide labeled for residential landscape pests that are applied for other labeled pests should more than adequately suppress plant hopper adrenid, was parasite, psilodrinus tiplochibae has been reported as common of on him are the citrus plated plant hopper that and its relatives. Usually, no chemical control measures are necessary. There are several things that you can try without ever resorting to harsh chemical when dealing with plant hoppers in garden. You might be able, able to get rid of them with a strong blast of water from a garden hose. This isn't a good method to try on delicate plants, but if the plants can take it, you can knock plant hoppers as well as aphids and mites of, of your plants this way. Insecticidal soap is a safe, non-toxic insect killer that won't harm plants, humans, or pets. Mix the spray according to, to package direction and spray liberally, coating the entire plant. Insecticidal soap only works when it comes into direct contact with 
insect. So don't neglect the underside of leaves that where plant helpers like to hide. Avoid spraying during the heat of the day. Some gardeners like to make their own insecticidal soap using dishwashing liquid, but but be aware that the Raising our bleach ingredients in this washing liquid can damage plant. So that's all from our discussion today. Thank you for watching and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.